the server back up. Guys, I'm gonna finish a power gen. Very exciting. So we will actually that I've never done it. I did finally upgrade these mechanism machines. Should make them run it. Hello, Kingsley. There we go. According to my window, still plenty of dust. <laughs> but let's hope for some wind or something. It is awful. Well, there is some clouds in the background. That's uh. Open. Let's let some sunshine in and pretend like we're going to make some vitamins. I am quiet though. I don't know why I would be quiet. Turn my mic up. Is that better? Matt? Oh my goodness. So much to do. I should check on a couple things. Um, a couple things I did do. Did go ahead and add a drum on this side. You need to clear, and I dropped the. Bar dropping. Bar dropping thumb. Don't know what that means. Only about half of what your thing is coming. That is probably because of the. Thing that I have set. Let me adjust my my filter. Let's see. The noise gate is set to 35, so it should pick up. Now this should be fine, actually. I just got to uh, talk into my and I put the music down a little bit. Just a scotch. I need to make sure to use my uh, classroom axing. <laughs> so we added a drum over here to clear out this stuff so that climb would be climb and. Um. Don't only pick him when I'm loud. Still show it all the time. This one right here. Weird, because when I turn my head this way. Um, I oh I know what it is. Problem is. Because I played uh Rocksmith here. Microphone. Bonky. So let's turn on sound settings. Let's see. Input. Stereo mic. No. How does this sound? Sound any better? Is it working? I'm quieter. 
Uh, let's see, vice property. This should make a huge difference now that I've cranked myself oh, way up. <laughs> Hold on, I'm turning it down. I'm turning it down. Now my microphone is queuing for everything. Good lord. Yeah, it's because that noise gate was set. When I crank it up like that, everything is going to be... It's set to ignore everything that's uh, below 35, negative 35 dB. But... Um, we'll just monitor it for now. Is that sound okay? I'm going to turn the music back up a little bit. Now you're too low. Ugh. There's no winning here. How's it going now? Is this better? I'm peaking right before... The red, so that should be good. My, so just, just for future reference, my volume slider on OBS, in case I ever ask, is set to negative uh, eight dB, and my in uh, my Windows audio is set to fifty percent for my microphone. But we will probably have to make adjustments to that every time I play Rocksmith, now, which is lovely. Minus eight, the positive, uh, opposite of positive eight. That is correct. All right. Please let me know if this becomes an issue again, if I get quiet again or whatever it is. Is the music still in okay volume? It's not too loud or too soft or anything? I'm hearing yes. All good now. Okay, so we have music. We got Minecraft. How about Minecraft sounds? Do we have Minecraft sounds? Let's double check. Can you hear me breaking glass block? Grass blocks? Don't listen to her. She's deaf. <laughs> Get called out for being deaf. Yes. What's quiet? Well, I mean, it's going through. It's going to change tracks occasionally. Should I turn it up, back up a little bit? Problem is it's lo-fi. <laughs> Not that there are people here to listen to music. Come on, man. People are here to listen to music. That's good, okay. If something changes, please let me know. But my peaks look really good on this side. The desktop audio looks like it's peaking in the right levels. We shouldn't be blasting anybody's eardrums out. Balanced music and sound effects. That's what I like to hear. Let's, uh, let me take a print screen. Copy a bunch of stuff here. There we go. There's no way to make a setting for that? No, because of the, because of the way it... It's it's just a it's just a thing with Rocksmith and how it does things. It's annoying, but it's just the way it is. Um You remember that? Yeah. Charged precision 256. We got to tell this thing to put in uh charged Service. That should fill up pretty quick. So I should remind peeps what I'm doing. I'm working my way through the quest book. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Task complete. Um, I have a couple of things I need to do today. Um, number one, I'm fixing, I'm going to finish the generator. Um, so we got a fission reactor on. Well, we don't have it on yet. We don't have it on yet. But it should be set to, to turn itself off, I can tell you that. So this thing's going to fill with water and it's going to fill... This thing is filled with water. I'm going to put in fissile fuel, which will heat this thing up. And it's going to make steam. 
And the steam we will put into a turbine, which will be probably right next to it, like right over here. And it'll just burn through the steam. And we'll probably just vent all the steam so we don't have to worry about um, really anything. That turbine will go right here, and it'll be the full size of... I'm going to make it as tall as I can make it. All right. Ding dong. Five by fives on the bottom. Yeah, and these are all the patterns that I needed. So, like, we need turbine casings and turbine vents and pressure dispensers and turbine blades and turbine rotors and a rotational complex and electromagnetic coils and turbine valves and structural glass. And we get all that stuff put together in the right configurations. It should be copper colored. I can't, unfortunately, change the color of it. That would be cool if you could, though. And then meanwhile, what we're really doing is working our way through the overpowered part of the quest book for the end game. We could finish two levels of it already. We're working on the middle section here. I just put in the things here. I can go ahead and put in the precision machines now. Our mechanisms. Precision mechanism. And we'll change this thing to precision mechanism. So that's full. Pass complete. And so what we have left here is gargantuan flux storage, stuff toggle, and ratatouille. Ratatouille, I think, is fairly easy enough. It just requires a beetroot, a tomato, an onion, and a beetroot. So it's got to be any vegetable plus tomato, onion, and beetroot. Um, let's see what we got. No tomatoes. I saw a beat. Ratatouille. Onion. <laughs> How ironic. But it's ratatouille. It's got to be all vegetables. I have to go talk to this guy over here real quick. We need some seeds. We need tomato, onion. Uh, let's see. Melon, potato, tomato. And then what was the other one? Onion. Wild potato, wild carrot, wild onion. Can I turn that into an onion seed? Shift info. Can be doubled with bone meal. Oh, wait, can I do this? So it's saying, what it's saying is that if I put this in the grass, bone meal it, a hey. Now we have some onions. <laughs> and alliums. Alliums? Alliums? Allium? All eum, all eum, all eums. Yes, thank you for helping me pronounce that word. It was <laughs> oh. somebody is at the door. Good lord, and your alarms are going off. What is going on? Tomato. Alkium? There's not even a K in it. I think you're just making it up now. <laughs> I have it right up here. I need to stop going into the quest book to find it. Tomato, onion, beetroot. Tomato, onions that I put away. And then another beetroot, or any veg, we'll use a uh, onion. 
typo. <laughs> There's our cooking pot. I think we have to put a bowl in here. Oh, sh it's cooking. <laughs> the bowl. Bowl. Give me a stack of Minecraft bowl. And we got our ratatouille. So we'll go in here and say, hey, hey, submit this ratatouille. Excellent. Ratatouille nourishment. One minute. It's, it looks like it's better than snake. It is. But uh, no, we're not doing that. Alrighty. Cool. Let's get these in the crafters. Looks like I'm going to need a couple of crafters. There's a spot. more crafters I don't know why I always choose speed three but I do let's make me full speed up that would be fantastic uh let's see <laughs> walls Shut the whole computer system down for a second. Fine though. There we go. This thing is getting out of hand. Oh, not in there. No. <laughs> no, it goes in here. Go in here. Cool. Everything's good here. Yeah, it looks everything's good. We got lots of bottles of enchantment. How many bottles of enchantment would you have? A thousand. A full on thousand. That's pretty good. Oh my goodness. So now all we need are these gargantuan flux storages and stuffed hoglin. Um, the gargantuans at flux. I need to be able to make all tiers. Herculean. Gargantuan. There's some crafters with space. Let's put those in there, luckily. Excellent. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. So if I ask for a gargantuan flux storage, I am missing 326 obsidian. It needs about 1400 obsidian to do this craft. I've got everything else I need. So I need to go down here, set this thing up. Because 1024 is no longer going to cut it. Let's set it to 2048. I really wish I could speed this thing up. There's no like watch of flowing time or anything. You know? um, yeah, and I can't reach inside of that pure daisy. That's OK. That is OK. It's a good mod pack for beginners. There is, um, hold on, I'm looking. There used to be one called uh, Feed the Beast Academy, and I don't know if it's still a thing. Let's see, featured mod packs. Uh, 
Um, if you're just getting into it, where in the heck is it? There's one called. Now this is from Minecraft 1.12. But here is, let me get a link. You can follow the instructions to download this guy. But this is the one you're looking for. This would be like a good basics on learning about power generation and things like that. Sometimes it's kind of hard for somebody like me who's been playing a mod of Minecraft for a long time now to kind of remember what it was like to get started. It, it can be very... Thank you very much for the sticks. Um, but it really is. It can be intimidating if you're looking to play modded for the first couple times. And you just have absolutely no idea because like Minecraft... And then modded Minecraft is makes it even worse. The the choices of what you have to do make the game very overwhelming. So I would say get started, just stick with it. I always wanted to make a quarry, I have no idea where to even start. Yeah, I understand. I'm gonna turn this thing back on. I had the I had some of these turned off because they weren't being affected by the redstone signal that my little switch was throwing off. But now that I want, I want a lot of obsidian. It's my it's time to it's time to ramp it up. We've got plenty of blaze rods. We've got thirty thousand five hundred and ten blaze rods or so. Um, we're not getting near as much blaze powder as we once were, but I don't really know why that is. I still think we're using it for something, but I don't have any idea which of those things were. All right, let's get the stuff together to build a turbine. So I need my little personal shrinking device and go into this compact machine. So this is the level with our reactor on it. So this reactor, once again, will turn fissile fuel into nuclear waste and as a byproduct, will make steam and the steam we use to turn a turbine and the turbine is what we would use to make power. So let us get from at mechanism. We're gonna need some turbine stuff, but the first thing we're gonna need, let's just get a tuple of snacks of turbine cases. There's all kinds of different kinds of quarries and stuff too. And then there's all different kinds of ways. Like there's there's a mod called Occultism where you can summon like genies and stuff like that that will create things out of nothing. Um, let's go see what's going on. There's all kinds of different ways to generate what we would call a quarry block. How are we doing over here? Yeah, I've done something over here, haven't I? Uh, let's see. Is it this one? This one. All these are in. This thing is set to export. Are these not plugged in? They're not plugged in. Yeah, it all stopped. Because when I was messing with the cable a while ago, I did not connect, reconnect this side. And now we're going. See, it's filling up with enriched carbon in here. The Sky Fairy has accepted our offering. Has blessed us with another buddied amethyst. Probably try to up real quick. A few more for the cause. How's it going now? Yeah, now we're rocking and rolling. And this thing, since I added these chests, 
doesn't have to uh, insert like one thing at a time. It can just do the whole stack at one time. We may have to. You see this little green bar over here? We're running out of power for these machines, which means there's some sort of bottleneck for juice. So one thing I can probably do, fix that, is change this upgrade that's in here from a diamond or advanced to an ultimate. That changes it from 30,000 RF that it can pull out to 131,000 RF, which is much, much better. That should keep these machines filled up. And so if I come in and I ask for like, if I come in and ask for like two stacks of steel, this machine, which green bar was falling before, is now not having a real problem keeping up with power. Which is good. We got a semi sinoid wave going on here, which is nice. Inserting the enriched to make steel dust, and then this guy over here is probably doing his thing. Making steel ingots. Everything looks like it's running like it's supposed to. It's great. Back into the compact machine. We need our turbine casings. Where did my turbine casings go? Two stacks of turbine casings. We have a floor for our turbine. need to build up. It says you can build this thing up to 18 blocks tall. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen is the biggest is apparently the, the biggest I can make this. Because this is the max sized common pipe. Machine room. Let's get a building gadget. Just right click to select, and then a little build to me action later, and we're putting a turbine together. Go like this. Good old build to me. So now we have this thing surrounded. Uh, we need the top to be turbine casings and the bottom to be turbine casings as well. Let's see. And then I need a row. Let's see. Let's look. Check my notes. I have notes. Vents on the outside of the coils and condensers. Saturating condensers. Con top. So I need saturating condensers. Um. Did I not? Did I not teach this thing saturating condensers? Apparently not. Start teleportation. Um. Oh, apparently not. Saturating condensers look like this. need nine saturating condensers. Oh my god, that was fun. <laughs> All right, saturating condensers on the top. Under that,
Outside, let's see. Saturating tensors on top, I need coils. Hey, hey, Jed. Welcome back, sir. Nine coils. This is going to tell us how big we can make this. And then... We need... Pressure dispersers. Eight pressure dispersers. And then a rotational complex. You're telling me. Rotational complex. And then pressure dispersers are going to go on the outside. These. I think I'm, I really feel like I'm putting this together wrong. <laughs> okay. Nope. This looks right. Vents. Um, six per side. Be 24. Guess we had to make some more steel. Come on. There we go. The turbine vents. No connected texture. What the heck? So we will make steam and rotate this turbine. Need to finish putting together. So we need a rotor. How many rotors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sure that takes plenty of steel. Which I'm pretty sure is what's holding it back at this point. Eight. So these will go in the rotational complex like this, all the way down to the floor, and then we need the blades. That mech blade. How many? I don't even know. So let's just make 30. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be enough. I think it actually is going to be 14, but... And then we might as well start some glass, too. Uh... My blades. As soon as we get 14, we're rocking. There we go. And then should just have to right-click these guys like this. Uh, might need a more. Might need a couple of more. Like we're maxed out now. <laughs> Those things are gonna hit the glass, but we're gonna pretend like we didn't notice. And then we need our structure glass. It's, uh... More glass, please. I think that's probably enough. 
Oh, we're gonna need some ports. Couple. Turbine ports. Ports right valves. Yeah. Times two. So we have to be able to put in the steam. Two valves. One for power. One for steam. And last but not least, bam. No? <laughs> Whoops. What did I do wrong, I wonder? I think missing something somewhere. It's got vents. Let's, uh... Hmm. Honestly and truly, I expected this to work. <laughs> Just, I just, just, just saw a thing about how to put it together. Uh, I got one port and took up the other port. I took out the thing. Woke up at 9 a.m. The neighbors did lawnmower. And so I got my mouse and refused to work and the system crashed three times. So good day not. It does sound like a bummer. But I'm sorry to hear that. Man, what is going on here? What have I done? What have I done wrong? <laughs> the only thing I could think of is I screwed up the top. Pressure dispersers. Electromagnetic coil. Yeah, pressure dispersers around the rotational complex. Coils on top. And then saturating condensers on top of that. <laughs> huh. We are definitely glad you're here. Those steep turbines can be very finicky. Yeah, I'm noticing this. Um, okay. Let's let's do a couple of things. Like let's take the floor out around the turbine. Let's put back in these and my turbine vents and see if it just comes together like that. Oh. Hmm. Too tall maybe? It's 13 tall. Mechanism industrial turbine. Images. I'm gonna make a little squatty one. I just feel a lot better if this thing like formed a multi-block. An X-Net. I 
haven't messed with Extent in a minute. Um, I'm gonna chop this thing down a little bit. Because if I can't figure this out, we're just gonna come back to it. It's gotta be casings on the roof and the thing, right? It's gotta be... Like I'm not... It's not pressure dispersers on the top. There's not like a turbine controller or something. Doesn't look like there's a turbine controller. No. I don't know. I'm doing something wrong and I don't know what it is. Like I said, I never built one before. Um, you know what? Tell you what. These are the wrong quartz. I built the big reactors before with the yeah, the big reactor one is is really cool too. may notice I did not build the fissile fuel in this room and it's because I remembered that something existed yesterday. Um, wait. Before I start putting these in, I want the saturating condensers on the top. Pressure, nope. Electromagnetic coils go next. It's a pretty cool looking block. Rotational construct. Pressure dispersers. Casings. Um, and on this side, I need to put in this before. And I can vent anywhere like this. But these can also be casings. It doesn't have to be vents. Vents are optional. But I'm trying to put as many vents on there as I can. I hear that's a good thing. If this does not work, I will have to do some testing in a test world and we'll have to move on from this project for it this second, I think. I don't want to sit here and bang my head against this on stream all day. I don't think that would be entertaining for anybody. Me, you. Uh, it's not reactor glass, it's structural glass. Does it need to be reactor glass? 
I can definitely try reactor gas. Did they change it to make it? Let's see, shift in. I'm asking you. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, uh, fission and fusion reactors and structural glass can be used in the Apple mini multi blocks. I'm pretty sure we can use this one. That's what the old mechanism wiki says too, so hopefully. Try to make a little smaller one and maybe, oh look, it accepted this. Lock. Oh, what is it not these turbine valves, I wonder. Yeah, I think that other one was too tall. Okay, and then a power port. Working good now. I'll take it. It's not going to be the massive turbine that we had in mind. But... Okay, so we need to pipe gas. who does more so if I put a pipe thingy on there I set it to this and then I get a netherite on nether More ultimate pipe upgrade to go here. That pulls out 40 millibuckets or 40,000 millibuckets of gas. So 40 buckets every tick. These have a pump rate of 256,000, which I think is higher. <laughs> set to put the stuff in there so the only thing I need to do now I can't believe I only have the first tank oh crap Better though. let's see chemical tank advanced chemical tank and elite chemical tank And then an ultimate. Ultimate. Lock. Output on this side. Put on this side. And then we need a quantum entangle of porter. We better get another one. To move the fissile fuel into this machine. So on this side, I will set gases. Actually, let's set a frequency. Fissile. Public and so the side configs for this will be gas output on this side and auto eject. This thing will put in this is not on, right? It is currently disabled.
Okay. <laughs> We're making steam. We're making fissile fuel. We're generating heat. Water is draining. Been at 10,000 per tech, it's draining. We've got a solid temperature. Spent nuclear waste is accumulating. Let's we'll see if this works. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> uh oh. Now the question becomes, why is this not accepting steam? What's the worst that could happen? A lot. <laughs> uh, it could be really bad. It can be really, really bad. These all seem to be empty. Um... Do I need to set those to push with the configurator? Where did I put my configure? Um, where the heck is my configurator? <laughs> I must have put it in here. Right? It could be just like Chernobyl. Push, 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 push. I don't have my thing on. <laughs> so why can't I fly? I don't really think that that matters as long as this is set to pull. Do you have to tell it which one to pull? Output, oh, okay. Input only. Output waste. Pull. Waste is gone. Somewhere in these, one of these things, there's some spent waste somewhere. I teleported into the fission reactor. It's great. Missile fuel is going in. We are not pulling. Input only. Now, why aren't you putting... Is it because there's steam in there and there's just not enough space for it? Okay. Yeah, we should read the directions. Let's see, output waste, output coolant. So does this mean that this thing can now accept not, not doing that? This is, is producing FE. That is the slowest a turbine could possibly move. Now, why is this thing not getting more juice? Needs more power. Yeah, we're getting steam. The problem is, when I turn this thing back on, it's 
taking water out of it, but it's not. What it's not doing... 2.2,000 RF per tick. We have waste coming out. This needs to be set to pull, though, not to push. Question. Let's see. Pipe. Mechanical pipes. 128,000 a second with a pump rate of 32,000 per tick. I think it's just straight up 10,000 per tick. Up 10,000 every tick. So those basic mechanical pipes are actually better. So let's... I might put some more uh, things in here. I'm not sure yet. Let's see if we can manipulate the system here a little bit. For now, I want to go home and make So let's teach the system. Whoa. <laughs> Mechanical pipes. Advanced. Elite. And ultimate. There's a chest downstairs. Come on, man. What's up? Get out of here. <laughs> knockback community. Not super worried about knockback community. Is there a... Um... Geiger counter. But I want it. I think green is okay. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh, these are full of steam. That's not it. What is this set to? Output waste. My desire to have a floor is waning. They're all full of steam. Do they keep their steam in there? They do. Okay. We don't want in the not those are radiation barrels, so we, we want waste in there. The steam needs to go into the turbine. Spin up the turbine and make it go. So yeah, we need to pipe it out. We gotta pipe it out. Oh god. I'll have to get rid of these. These actually might be empty. They're not. <laughs> 
20. Works for me. All right, I would like these to go like right here again. So let's only hook one up and make sure we're pulling out the right thing this time. So this is set to waste. Nuclear waste is in there, and look, it's actually going away. And since it's stored in the correct barrel, we're not, uh... So each of these barrels will get rid of a bit of nuclear waste, and until we're ready to actually use the nuclear waste, I would really rather it just kind of dissipate. So there should be no nuclear material in here now. There's fissile fuel going in. All right, we needed some pipes. The ultimates. We need to get away from uh, the pipes mod, I think. for eight more on top. If we lose that fist off fuel, it's not going to be the end. Fiss off fuel, that's great. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. And then just for my own sanity, let's have it look like. And we may have to add a couple of more steam thingies. Water stays in. Steam goes in. Steam's increasing. Still only making 2200 RF attack. Not great. The amount of work I'm putting into this thing. But we're making fissile fuel. System in the cans can't hear. This thing is empty on steam, it's full on water. It is we're getting a net positive of fissile fuel. And okay, limiting. Number of blades is limiting, and the number of vents is limiting. Okay. Wait, isn't there a way to, like... Oh, I can set a rate limit. Current burn rate. Max burn rate 20 per second. What's the current? Current is 0, 0.0? That can't be right. Ooh, that made more heat. It went up a bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now wait a minute. 
How's everything working out here? We're at fissile fuel is actually zeroed out. Because this thing is just the right amount of steam in it. Now there is getting water to be in the system, but it should be one thing that we can do. We can get some of these mechanical pipes and then a fluid trash can. Two thousand RF attack. This thing is relatively safe with this running like this. Fissile fuel is stable. We can increase the production of fissile fuel by putting some speed upgrades in on stuff that's back home. But for right now, this thing looks to be running just absolutely solidly. Do got a bit of a uh, bit of green going on down here. I don't know what that means. I think there's enough of these. Well, look, this guy's like really full. <laughs> Guess not. I thought it would round robin. You may need like a logistical sorter or something like that to make it do that. There's no steam is still building up in here. Nope, steam is solid. So let's scram this guy. And then can I put this to like 1.5 bill bucks per tick? See what happens. Now we're losing fissile, but we're making 34,200. Okay. So our limiting factor in reality is the amount of fissile fuel we're able to put into the system right here. So for now, I'm going to set it back to one. And we're going to see if we can get enough steam out of this thing to make this guy crank. So we need more fissile fuel. What's our limiting on the fissile fuel at the moment? This thing is full of uranium hexafluoride. It accepts upgrades of all varieties. Energy first, and then let's do half a stack of speed. Happens. Using 1.28 kilofe per tick to make 16 millibucks of fissile fuel every tick. What's running out back here? This guy running out? Nope. This guy running out? Appears to be. This guy's using 8 FE per tank. He's got a stack of energy upgrades in there already. Did I get a stack of energy? Speed and energy. Now we have a net loss of uranium hexafluoride, so we need more speed upgrades. Making 32 per tank. Uranium hexafluoride is going back up, and this thing is using another thousand RF. Yellow cake uranium. Guy needs to get sped up. Really want to see a backlog for I would qualify this as forming a backlog. So now this machine is full, this machine is full, so this machine is full. This one is not. It doesn't have any speed upgrades in it. It's currently costing me very little RF per tank.
Yeah, I like to see that little thing right there because that means at some point during the processing. Yeah, that's good. So we're back stuffed. Back stuffed here. Back stuffed here at 16. Water vapor's full here. Hydrogen. Oxygen. This all seems to be doing just fine. Check on this guy. Because we would like to use all that for stuff. So we're making 16 per tick, right? So if I set this thing to 15, <laughs> will it explode? Oh, yeah, let's, uh... <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so 16's a bit much, and 15's a bit much. What about 5? Water's going down. It is constant. I can add more water. Can add more water. Um, let's see, what are these? Factor ports. It's that or we need more sinks. It could be a combination of both. I've got to go fix a problem at home that I have been neglecting for many a many a year. <laughs> that importer. Um, speed. Back. Fluid. Storage block. Remember how long those used to take. Not so much anymore. Forty ninety six fluid block. Whitelist, exact, access type. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking a while ago it was time to start putting some stuff down in the basement. Go. This thing is filling up with something. Whitelist, water. I hate that they don't keep their. sink right there I can just use. I could just use this sink. Uh, we can do this. One of these full water tanks that I've already got. <laughs> Set the bucket mode, clearly. Oh. 
Oh my god. It's getting worse. How did this manage to happen? Bucket mode on. This thing is waterlogged. <laughs> Stop. No. No. Okay, I don't trust myself with bucket mode anymore. We have flooded the basement. It's not good. Let's break some blocks real quick. Figure out where this water's coming from. There's definitely one here. <laughs> I'm... Okay. Odd man. <laughs> oh, there's still one over here somewhere. This one. Is there a water source block over here that's like... the correct move. <laughs> I don't really have a correct move. Oh, my thing. Cool. Eh, that's not really what I wanted. Can I just put an importer on the thing set to water? Not water buckets. Water. Got problems in your basement. Yeah, don't call Monty's plumbing. I'm not into I'm not the guy. I'm not your guy. Definitely not. I can definitely make things worse. Apparently, this is not allowed. <laughs> okay. If nothing else, this is allowed. I will allow this. Stopped. That's why.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a water. So it doesn't like just fill the entire system up with water and anywhere I can find water to put it in. But I think 2,000 buckets of water is probably okay. I just wanna watch it fill. There we go. Excellent. But that means now that I can pull water out of the fluid grid into buckets at least. important to have a sink next to your fission reactor. Want to configurate Hey, this all feels full. Making 114,000. Oh my god. How's water doing? Oh, it's draining. <laughs> it's draining. What is my limiting factor here, I wonder? What is causing this issue? Is it the amount of sinks that I have? <laughs> Two, four. Let's try four for now. Oop. Four. Back to the crafting grid. way to tell this thing how to make water buckets cuz I sure would like that pull pull and then now this guy is only responsible for those I mean, if I have to, I'll give them all their own sink. I'm not too proud. Giving it a minute. We're not filling up with water. You're making plenty of RF per tick. 137,000 RF per tick. Confirmed by this. This aisle fuel is full and steady, increasing over here. We're not holding 
any waste. This guy's got 13,000 millibuckets of waste in him already. That's great. Quartz blocks. Okay. So I guess the only thing to do now is to see how high we can go. 159,000 a tank. Water seems steady. I really need to figure this thing out. Well, that worked. It needs at least... Okay, what? <laughs> Nord? Normal. We really do want this to be inverted, though, because we want... Output when high temperature. Output to the reactor, normal, when in high temperature. Activate the reactor when powered and deactivate when unpowered. That's this one right here, right? And it's inverted. So right now it's off. And it should be running right now. Um, hmm. I sure would like this thing to have a safety valve on it. I don't trust it to not explode. <laughs> Fissile fuel. We're still losing fissile fuel. Potatoes the problem. Potatoes are the problem. Hmm. We'll just let it be a problem. And just kind of run out of ethylene for it this second. We'll figure it out. This thing is not in this, this thing is not giving me enough potatoes to run my base. And it is maxed out, right? Yeah, sure enough it is. Those. 
that possible that I never set up a recipe for this? It's possible. Is it possible it's just not hooked up to the system anymore? <laughs> it's also possible. Oh, whoa. What has happened here? Um... I don't know what happened to those patterns. But, like, we had Endurium auto-crafting before. I know, because I've made integral components. Wrong machine. Like, Invar is not in there. Uh, where's the recycler one? Okay, and then... Ah. These power process energy.
Stop it. From pipes. Put this guy here. Potato power. So the only thing, other thing we need to do is get another pipe here, full, and this thing is filtering to potatoes. So, uh, is there a filter? On a whitelist, rotate. Only potatoes, please. Since this thing can only accept uh, poisonous potatoes, that should be good to go. Now, will this... Does not appear to be... And it processes through the... The bio feels so fast. <laughs> All right, it'd be what it'd be. 200,000 on an input. Let's go in and check. <laughs> if we die instantly, we'll, we'll know that it was too much radiation in here. <laughs> nope. It's looking okay. This all fuel is falling in the machine. This guy is rocking. I don't understand how fist off fuel is falling. It says we're producing at 16 per second. Unless one of those machines has stopped to be back stuff. I was messing over here with water or something. Um, this thing is not getting enough uranium hexafluoride. This thing is not getting what? We've got uranium oxide, so it's missing sulfuric acid. This thing's just not making enough sulfuric acid. We don't have any speed upgrades in it. How about eight? Not enough energy to run at max speed. How is that possible? Where are y'all drawing your power? Dude. You can't get like a hundred thousand RF a tick in here or what? It's only 4K. It's okay now. I want to see this thing constantly running. I want to see this thing constantly running. 
Looks like it's bumping up to 1,200, 1,300. This thing says it's making this much of this. Starting to back stuff this. Oops, that's not all what we wanted, but whatever. A little bit of cobs. Doing it. Everybody's happy. Couple more speed upgrade. Help. Losing uranium hexafluoride again. This thing is not making enough sulfuric acid. Doesn't have enough water vapor. I think I got this thing whooped. Find something else. This thing is holding me up. Is there a chemical oxidation factory? Nope. Oh, it's not getting any... Uh for now seems to be about as good as it's gonna get so I'm still rocking and rolling we're still doing 137,000 RF attack so using all the steam the style fuel is going up he's staying steady I don't have an auto switch off but you know if we come in here and there's a bunch of radiation we know we messed it up 
my base suddenly starts uh, going down in power when you definitely screwed. Sweet. And as long as this is filling up, it is, I'm happy. One thing I would like to do Provider and a cell would be pretty sweet. And while this crafts, I'm going to stand up for a second, stretch my legs, and run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Well, it seems to be finishing up the first one, not the second one. We'll let this run for a few. I'm just going to increase the amount of stuff that's on there. I'm going to do that occasionally. I'm just going to go into the system and make it, uh, make it make me another one of these so that I can hold another million or so, or a trillion RF would be. So I think for now I'm done messing with that thing. What is that mechanism? Got him. Still stuffed. Everybody's still stuffed. Stuff down here is just never going to be happy. As long as it makes enough. Yeah, see, it's filling this thing up. Eventually, it will fill this thing up, and it will back stuff all the stuff. That's good. That's what we want to see. That is precisely what I'm looking for. Cool. Good lord, the wall of computers. <laughs> it's slowly taking over the house. What are you doing over here? Just absolutely ripping through. Like a bit. But we can drain that power out of there. I <laughs> think we sure can. Thanks for the stick, Slowpoke. Really appreciate that. All right, let's have a quick look in here. These are all the stuff I like to carry around with me, I'm pretty sure. I think we can get rid of the cobble. Dirt now. This and there, this, this, and this. We would like some buckets. 
It's always nice to have a few blackheads. I think four is probably enough. Um, reality. Now we'll keep this in there, and then we'll also keep at Mac. There's one that's full. This. <laughs> that was a logistical sorter I just pulled out of the system. So we want to clear memory slots, sort everything. Sorted, and then we'll hit memory sort. And this backpack ended up just being full. Oh, I could have got rid of that. Whatever. Alrighty. Ah. <sighs> I'm really worried that I'm going to come over here and it's not going to say 209 anymore. If it doesn't say that, I know I'm in trouble. Back stuffed. Back stuffing. Constantly burning at that. Another 7200. Got a lot of substrate in there. Maximum amount. We're back stepping on it. Okay. Whew. A gargantuan storage thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, well, it made the induction cell. I need a provider. <laughs> It did everything except for the last step of making provider. All right, so we should just be able to go and break and replace. As I remember, breaking and replacing works. But we'll put a uh, provider on one side and a thing on the other. Perfect. We're inputting back into the system. It says 239, but it's going to fall because something backed up with power while that was going. This thing now holds 8 terabyte or 8 tera FE. And we're not even close to 1, so that's pretty good. Alrighty. I need to go find some hoglins. Like a bunch of them. We're going to take them to the nether. That's the plan anyway. So let's get out my sands again. Sands. My temporal pouch. Go into the nether. I need some dudes to trade with. Let's see if we can find any. Got a lot of grief for killing Enderman the other day. Like, dude, it's Enderman. Um. <laughs> Look. I'm taking most of this stuff. Did he see any piglins? It should show up on the map. Baby Enderman. May have so oh look, there's a couple. There's a couple. They're coming with us though. Hello. No. 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 Oh, cannot pick up aggressive piglins. Ah <laughs> I forgot. We need some gold. Give me a helmet. Oh, the helmets are set up to uh, auto-destroy. I forgot. Uh, maybe some pants? And a set of boots? It's unfortunate they don't like uh, whatever these are. There. 
sir. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Oh, you don't need to shoot me. You don't need to shoot me. Everything's fine. Why are you so angry? And why are there 10 trillion Endermen here? Is one piglin enough to trade with, I wonder? Um. My initial plan... No, not nether right. Nether bricks. I hear you in my inventory, man. You need to chill out. Yeah, it's an ender convention over there. At easy. Need the barterer. Still don't know how this thing works. But we're gonna try. Everything okay? I know, man. Sounds like Tim the Toolman Taylor. It's a hole! Just for you to live in, bro. Mm -hmm. I know. They sound awful. They're pig people. They're supposed to sound awful. Or pig persons, if you will. I mean, it's up to you. Why are you shooting me? <laughs> I don't understand this game. I don't understand how easy, uh, at easy, big ones. There's only one. Take this. Take it. Oh, you like that. He just took it. He gave me back a gold. Oh, I had my magnet on. I don't know how piglin trading works. What I saw, you don't need the glass box, just a door. Just a door? So not this thing. The only doors I've made are iron doors. <laughs> okay. You seem much happier now. Did you give me? Oh, you give me a. No, 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 no. You don't need to leave. Oh my god. Crying Obsidian? So sweet. It's actually one of the main. Hey, get back in here. No, stop. Come on, man. You can't have a door. So. Will this one dude do all the trading I need? Like, will I eventually just get all the stuff that I want? Here, man. Have, like, some gold. He's thinking about it. We may have to go find another piglin village. I mean, he's he's doing his thing. One of the things I need to make is a stuffed hoglin. Mm -hmm. 
I got five Krang Obsidian, some Gilded Blackstone. Don't let them see you grab their friends. Though, so they don't like uh they don't like it when they get kidnapped. Okay. So let's try. There's this thing. It should turn red. Let me throw some of this red on the wither rose. Is pretty good. Yeah, pig napped. <laughs> he gave me a floating thermal lily. Experience confection. Four singets, blackstone, wither skull thingy. So, I what I can't do is just do this. Uh, I have another idea. I wonder how long it takes for him to trade. Alright, hear me out. If I were to go from Cyclic and get a precise dropper, put it here like this, and then it's set to drop right here. Oh, one the problem that we had was getting the uh, teleport. Oh wait, just Amber. we can uh, we can just uh, we can just chest it. I think if you put him in the box, if you got cold, if you put him in the box, I think put in put him in the box. Oh, oh like this. So I put the box down, and then I right-click him into the box, and then I give him these. He's looking at it. Oh, he did give me some four singets. Okay. So can I get a... Um... Just take him with us now, right? Like, he can do this at home. There's no reason for him to be in the nether. Okay, and so on my wall of village stuff, I put in this thing, put him in there, and then give him gold. He's got the gold already. Oh my god, he drops runes of fire? So I go find a couple more, yeah, and build the thing, and I do the exact same thing I'm getting ready to do here. I set an exporter in this guy for items, gold ingots. And we'll have a stack upgrade in there, so it'll do stacks at a time. All right, let's get a couple more. Oh, we don't need like two stack upgrades there, though. That's probably a bit too. All right, and then on top, we'll have an importer that's set to. Well, I th let's see how smart this thing is. We get the cables. Now he's just going to sit here and generate Diglin resources. That's great. Uh, we got a stack. We need the other stack in here. Oh, 
Another salad requires crimson fungus and warp. So I need two crimson salads and a raw stuffed hog one, which requires ham, uh, a pig, or a hog one. They want to cut up a pig or a hog one. We're up to 12 crying obsidian. He really has to sit and think about it. Okay. The other things that we need, we need hoglin loins. Hoglin. Are there those nether um Is there like a nether dungeon? That's going to be quite the craft, I think. <laughs> Look at it go. Wow. Crazy. Not enough juice. guy is loving it. Fox. He is absolutely loving it. A couple of hoglin ears. We need... This is what we need. <laughs> How do I get one of these? Uh, data models. Isn't that what they're called? These guys. I don't know how to make redstone repeaters. That seems wrong, but whatever. This guy. Teach this system how to make. At hostel. Have one. Piglin. There's a zombified piglin. But I just need a pig. This guy. Okay. I find these guys, I wonder. Village Butcher.
And these crimson roots and these warped roots. I think that's just a matter of bone milling some stuff. Same for the nether salads. <laughs> okay. See a piglin running around down there. Where are you at, sir? A very angry something or other down there. It is this guy. Matter if you're mad or not. Oh, there's a little dude. Can I take the little dude? fly around for a minute. Just kind of check things out. Is there anything else here? Gonna be Hamhawks now? He's gonna be him. This red is just absolutely brutal. I wonder. We are getting the hoglin hides, which is nice. Okay. Um, at industrial foregoing. We want a mob imprisonment tool. Oh, you're mad. I understand. And we have a mob duplicator. Because it says can be bartered from piglins. We're getting those. Something lighter than a sword. Not really sure. <laughs> Let's see. 
What are we doing over here? He looks fine. Somebody dying in here like they're supposed to and everything. Nothing like there's hearts. They can set. I want another Okay. And site. Do some uh, rearranging of all this stuff. It's wires at some point. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. So let's have a little bit of build to me. I guess you probably can't breed piglin in the breeder, huh? Breeding them in the breeder might be pretty amazing, though. <laughs> back I did not <laughs> I did not get it back I think it's since it's got a block of leeway in between This should be okay. So right here. One, 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 two, do this one. Lower key. Uh Yep, that should work. Wait, maybe. Two blocks? Yeah, it's two. That should be okay. And I can range upgrade if I need to. But for now, this should work. So we just need to get it some juice. Porter with fluid, and we want it to be. 
I wonder if it'll take fluid XP. We're gonna find out. If this doesn't work, we'll have to figure something else out. Yeah, it apparently does take fluid. Oh, I hear them up there. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how mad they sound. Oh my god, babies. Oh no, a zombie. Yeah, y'all seem mad. If I give y'all a stack of gold, will that make y'all happy? <laughs> oh, it won't if I had my magnet on. There you go. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, stop! Um... Hello! Oh, these little babies. That's terrible. Angry zombies? Get out of here. Uh, yeah, I have to deal with it. You're absolutely right. Crack gem of the combatant. Um... Uh... Oh, I don't think these guys burn, do they? <laughs> well... You don't have to find out. I'll do it. I'll let you guys know if they burn. I don't want you to have to see it. They don't burn, by the way. <laughs> they don't burn. <laughs> I don't want babies! They're all zombies, though. We're gonna have to get rid of these guys. I know. Get out. Get out. Get out and get out. Alright. Baby zombies. <laughs> Picked something else up. Thanks. A hoglin spawn egg. Well, hmm, something softer than a sword? Is it like legit? What is the name of that creature? It is just called a hoglin. I cannot find
Hmm. Hmm. Wait, a hoglin is that thing, isn't it? I have six hoglin spawn eggs. Now, wait a minute. At a mob. Mob, no. This thing. My mouse is having some serious issues today, and I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so. A hoglin is the big pig, right? Yes. Yes, it is. We're in the butter zone now. Something's burning. How did you get here? Dang creeper in there. A Zoglin. I wonder if I have to do this in the nether. Oh, I should have. Is not as big as I wanted it. Two, five, yeah. There used to be a way to set it, and it was like a, it had a fuzzy mode, and it had a non-fuzzy mode, and what it did, the difference between the two is that one spawned the monster exactly as it was put in the spawn egg. Alrighty. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Why? That's the one me there.
This guy. Mob duplicator. Guy. Flux point. This guy. Now. Uh, these are cobblestone bricks. Do I have any more of them? So the one thing that we're having issues with can fix with inner tanks. Okay. And it won't require me to have to won't require me to have to hunt down why this isn't working. For now this is a great solution. So one thing I noticed is that I need uh, fortune on my stuff. Fortune, I've got luck, but I need fortune. Chops and leather only, huh? Uh, no, that's right. I may have to use a mob grinder to get the drops. But I don't know if it drops the stuff that I'm looking for. That's the problem. I mean, it's just materials. Glass. Absorption hopper. Please make that with not crying obsidian. You. Let's go here. Um. Items down. Up. Ooh. 
doing a lot of setup for this. I don't even know if it's going to work yet. Vector plates, vector plates. <laughs> oh, vector plates, you're so silly. But so much better than fans. set up to pull green green yep I'm gonna take the purple 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 with me in case it does work <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew area let's see it needs to go south to go eat. That is the whole building. Nothing outside of it. Beautiful. You know, in actuality, to make this thing green, green, green as well. And I'll get another green, green, green. Here's hoping. <laughs> Rocking and rolling away over here. <laughs> I like that guy. He seems okay. Hoglin and a piglin. The Sky Fairy has blessed us. Fluid at this one. <laughs> Definitely hooked up. No fluid XP? <laughs> Am I looking at the wrong liquid? Fluid XP. Oh no, it's filling up. It was back stuffed. It was it's just now back stuffing. It had to fill up. That should be a little quicker. There's nothing left to do but turn this thing on. Now, 
that's not good. Full fluid XP. Run with Rinstone Signal. One. I wonder if it can't be covered. Getting some rain now. You want me to send you some? Yeah, please do. We could definitely use it. Um, this thing is downstairs not set to green, green, green. Set the green, green, green. This thing has fluid XP in it. This definitely worked before. Oh, I don't have the thing in. Duh. I heard at that time. It's doing it, Peter. Okay, one thing I'm noticing, we got loins. What is this nether's delight? Hmm. I mean... Yeah. Seems like these hoggle ones are probably pretty good. I mean, we're dropping leather, but the one thing that we're not dropping is the thing. The one thing that I really need. Uh, from Farmer's Delight, ham. <laughs> You'll need something for like an I'm a shit. Changed my mind about this machine. <laughs> a golden machete with looting two on it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's try that. Instead of looting two on it, it sure does. <laughs> Pretty good. There's no way. Hold on. Hold on. I have to check something. Yeah, he's mad. Mm -hmm. Add industrial. Enchantment extractor. Right? With a... Back. Spiders. And some books. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was worth looking at. It was worth trying. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right, back to the nether we go.
Thank you. He dropped a ham. So they're not dropping from the mob in prison with the uh, thing. So I need to just go kill them with this thing. Can't get to me because the vector plants. A tiny hoglin. Oh, can you breed these? Well, this is a solution to this problem, which is my favorite kind of solution, an actual solution. All right. Two hams, two loins, a hide, the nether salad, which needs the mushrooms. Warp and crimson. Excuse me. It sounds delicious. What are you talking about? I would definitely rather. I like pigs in a blanket a lot, so. I think that sounds great. How far do we want this thing to be? I'm just kind of guessing. That's the problem. You have to think like a mod maker. See if that's good enough sometimes. Okay. Now you're hungry <laughs> for pigs in a blanket. Like I said, that sounds great. When you don't know if it'll work, you must experiment. Pigs in a croissant. Actually, pigs in a croissant are pretty good too. A fancy blanket. I guess a croissant can be considered a fancy blanket. Croissant. Oh man. I'm so glad when <laughs> when it makes sense. Where is my ring of mana? Where is my mana shears? Oh, 
So what is it we need? Crimson roots, warped roots. I think this is what we needed. I think we got everything that we need now. Let's have a double check. So in a cooking pot, we need to stuff a hoglin with a crimson fungus, crimson root, and warped roots. Two hoglin loins, a hoglin hide, two hams, and a nether salad. And a nether salad is just those two things together. Um, they're both fungi. There's a fungus amoongus. Oh, chorus fungus. Interesting. A colony. Stuffed jalapenos cut in half, stuffed with sausage and cheese, wrapped in a croissant, and baked until golden brown, dipped in salsa. All right, Jed. You're going to get Kilroy's mouth all water. My middle brother, the one that just turned 50, he loves jalapenos, and he would probably love that recipe. Because everything there he likes. Sausage, cheese, the little croissants. He would definitely dig that. I, myself, while the, the heat of the jalapeno doesn't bother me, I am not a fan of the taste of jalapeno. Welsh rare bit is my jam, though. Right about that. Used to grow your own peppers, but not anymore. Man. Gardening is pretty cool. I'm a I'm a big fan. I'm something of a gardener myself. This is just about the furthest we could have went away from uh, making a mechanism. Mostly Worcestershire. People at work ask if it's so hot and makes your eyes water. Why do you still eat it? Because it's good. You know, I'm a big fan. I do like some heat. I like... I like more heat than a lot of people do, but <sighs> what? <laughs> I'm a hoglin mouth and a hoglin spawner. From apotheosis. You do not enjoy the heat. Some of the Taco Bell stuff is too hot. I'm a wuss. I mean, you're not alone, though. That's the thing. There's a lot of people out there who can't deal with spice of any variety. Let's do it. Stuffed hoglin. Get another salad, which we have. Raw stuffed hoglin. Nether salads. How does this keep getting turned down? <laughs> I don't understand.
Why did that throw bowls? Oh, it was the bowls from the mushrooms. Meanwhile, the gargantuan cooked up while we were gone. You can submit. Nice. Greatly reduces the duration of negative effects. Bracelet. I think I have a belt on already. The obsidian belt. There's another belt slot. Oh, man. Probably take these off now. Oh. Oh, this is the one I'm really worried about. Let's do all the other things first. <laughs> Advanced processors, two stacks. And then signalium, one stack. It would clear your head in a second. <laughs> mm. Any rare fix item gives me one to four and a salvaging table. Village Fletchers. Items at a salvaging table. where I got the gem dust from, but thanks. Do these things say adipotheosis? No. Lord have mercy. Salvage items. Or OK. 
Kaffer. Wow, that's unfortunate. Like this, I think is what they're talking about. No? Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. <laughs> Thanks for the stick slope up. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, man. <clears throat> we need apotheosis of fix items in order to get these. I managed to get four. Um, And they got to be blue. That's the trick. This doesn't work, does it? Well, that gives me the gym dust. Apotheotic boss summoner. I need to generate dungeon loot. Right. Which flower is it? Balloonium will, when fed quite a bit, I'm going to summon these items for adventurers to collect. There's a catch, though. Each item is held by a monster protecting. These monsters are extra strong, but we'll drop their precious dungeon loot. The other alternative is to go find more, like, dungeons and stuff. 
because these things do not appear to be super rare. I never checked this guy. At least the Sky Fairy accepted our offering. We need blue Apex loot as much as we can possibly get our hands on. Aww. Oh god, or we could just get Luminous Crystal Shards right out of a thing. Oh my god, an Infinity Book? Dude! Aww. Is this like a Fletcher's house or something? <laughs> that was like the best chest ever! Mason. Huh? I know, bro. Right? Oh, God. This is great. Two broken spawners, an overgrow, a brawler's gym, and the apple cider can. Could be pear cider there, am I right? Everybody loves pear cider. Running shoes. <laughs> Come on, Kilroy. You know you love it. So it may just be flying around and finding Sky Islands. That might be what we're doing. Okay, this is where we just came from. Then I went over here. There's nothing out the back. Continue to go this way. I see a couple chests over here. Ballast gym. Back with food. Welcome back, Jed. Cooked bacon. Heck yeah. And raw mutton chops. Not the mutton chops like dudes used to wear back in the day. My staff. Hello, gentlemen. I don't have a chest hiding in here somewhere. I missed a chest. Pokemon killer, where did I miss a chest? Back where I was. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, I'm going to stand right here. Is it behind me? Hello, Pokemon killer, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Which way did I go? Because I'm looking for all the chest help I can get right now. Right side? Like over here? There it is. Good shout, good shout. It wasn't the best chest, but it had an opportunity to have what we needed. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. So we continue to search for chests. Gentlemen, we are not getting lucky with the old luminous crystal shards at this particular point. There's normally three where that setup is. Was there three this time? There's one, two, and there was three. Oh, I thought I saw one for half a second. Another chest. There's not like a chest detector or something, is there? Is there anything from Looter? Got all three, okay. Just the trophy. 
I may have cleared this island out already. Unfortunate. Uh, let's go double check Dallas. Because maybe I left stuff in there that I shouldn't have, because I didn't realize I needed these crystals yet. From Apotheosis, and a lot of times I'll leave the stuff from Apotheosis in the chest because it just takes up so much space. Looks like. When you see that type, there's always three chests. Oh, Alright. Good to know, good to know. Um, non blue A fix items, prot 5 is okay. Stuff can stay. That unfortunately is an epic gem. It's an epic affix, not a blue affix. Uh, I do have a cleric for trading. Can they trade these gems? Because I would love that. I can always make more clerics too. I have, I have a lot of villagers. Yeah, can you trade for those gems? Because I would definitely be all over that. Otherwise, it's going to be searching for more owls, uh, villages. We may have to go to the nether and find some there. I think I'm running out. I've been here. Let's see what they sell currently. FYI, the villages are normally set up on a grid. Oh, really? Like a certain amount? Now, this guy sells nothing from Apotheosis. I don't remember. I have not been to the castle yet. In fact, until you mentioned that, I didn't even remember that there was a castle. Protection, multi. Will it take a multi bow? There's an extra horizontal arrows. Oh, sure. go west from there, there should be another village. Alright, let's go check it out. Back to Dallas. How far do you think it'll be? A thousand blocks or so? No, from my house. Okay. Not always the case. That's okay, because we can always check with this thing. 
so far this place is that is the closest we'll keep going west we'll generate a few chunks to the south look at there oh what is this make sure to look up I will make sure to look up Oh, this is like from a mob, a mod. Like a witch's joint. No looter chests in here. Wow, what a bed. That's a nice glass, true. These normally aren't very useful. Been a minute since I slept. I should probably do that. All right. Appears that it was looking at that place specifically. Village. Yeah. Do you see it? Um, there'll be chests in here. I know. You know what? Heck with you guys. And the heck with your island. It's not perfect, but it's fairly consistent. Nothing wrong with that. Get out of here. I know. I know. I know. I know. see so probably right in this area ah yeah I see exactly what you're saying now Good to know. Appreciate that. Not blue, but we'll take it. Ooh, that's blue. So we need, what, 30? How many was it? Is it 32? Yeah. We need 20 more. the path. Follow the path.
Oh. Oof, good. Good chest. Good chest. Good chest. Bad chest. <laughs> I'm still taking obsidian, I don't know why. What's up, dude? The Pickering! How did you become unemployed? I saw the Pickering and he was like, no. Cannot have. Okay. I didn't even know it was a thing until just now. Um. Been on up. More of those. God forged pearls. Quick draw. And just take them all. I'll take another one. Thank you for putting cool enchanted books. I've been... Yeah, I do have the night vision goggles. Sure enough do. They are pretty good, but they do make it... Uh, they can make it difficult to see if it's dark or not. So, question for you. If I go... I'm going to go straight east. I think there's one straight east. Somewhere between here and Austin. Give it a second to catch up. There are so many of those little wilden islands. All right, there's Dallas. Here's Austin. Yeah, this is what you mean by not perfect. I got it.
Oh. I can just throw this on the computer. I don't know why I'm so pressed for space. There's no reason to have another set of night vision goggles, is there? Just have a couple. Just in case. There's a barrel. Was my hundredth worker exploitation. Wool is doubled, but the sheep takes damage. What? All right, let's mark this place real quick. This is uh, San Antonio. Back to the house. Oh god, we did it. Thank you Pokémon Killer 90 for the info, man. That was uh you were a lifesaver. Absolutely. Helping us out there. So that's these guys done. A mending book. Have to copy that later. <clears throat> Alright, what else we got? I've been to a sky advanced machine frame and 64 blaze cakes. I haven't even looked to see if the machine's still running. I'm I'm nervous to even think about it. We have back stuffed on ethylene finally. Which means potatoes are doing their thing. Question. Input on the front, yes. 34 giga FE. Running solid. Absolutely holding steady here. We have filled up a nuclear waste barrel, which is great. We're going to have to get a quantum integraloper or whatever and get rid of all that. That will probably be a problem for Monday at this point. All right. One advanced machine frame. 64 blaze cakes. Oh, uh, blaze cakes base with a spout. And then it's 250 mm -hmm. millibuckets. Oh. These cake bases are eggs, sugar, and cinder flour. Eggs and sugar are not a problem. Cinder flour is just crushed, but I don't have any crushing ones set up yet. Okay. Um... Twenty-one. Oh. And then the.
crushing whales themselves. Three, three, and then five in between. And then planks, stone. So stone. Plank. And the site casing or in the site alloys. Still curious how where my crate wrench went, but whatever. I have a pipes wrench, it's good enough. this thing up to some juice. Uh, I don't think those go on a crushing one. Too much stress? Yeah, too much stress. Uh, <laughs> I have a solution. Whenever made these brass casings in the thing, not living wood, logs, mm -hmm. plenty of whatever. I can't believe you can't end find those. What are y'all doing? Okay. Yeah, it's time for another electric motor, Jed. <laughs> you saw it coming. When did I end up with so much brass? <laughs> I swear I had that machine turned off at uh, a certain amount. I don't remember. Motor. Man, imagine if I had these set up to autocraft. One, three, five, three, one. Five, three. Brass sheets. Capacitor. Let's see, and a side alloy. Some copper wire. 
Did I ever decide there was a better way? No, I have to use the mill. That's it. I don't mind. What? Let's see, copper wire is one per two. One, two, three, four, five, six. That saturation buff is overpowered. Look at it. <laughs> I never get hungry. I was so happy to find out that you could do this. Um, they all have to go one way. Might as well all go this way. Down, down, down. Everybody's going that way. Crunch. 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 We should probably just have an electric motor in case I need to do random create stuff. Did it stress? For real? Mm -hmm. I clearly do not understand this machine. <laughs> Even at one, it's overstressed. Um... I don't understand why that doesn't work. Add a large cog to the motor. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. So we put, like, big cog, like that. And then hook it to a little cog, right? That should work. I don't even care if it crafts super fast. I just want you to work. <laughs> I am not setting up a set of crushing wheels. We are not going into blaze cakes anytime soon. But having these things around to be able to make cogwheels and stuff, I dig that.
Right. Um, cobblestone will work for now. Oh man, there's a cool way to do this and I don't remember how it is. I think this is going to spin them the same way though. <laughs> that is definitely not the right way. Um, I guess I don't. Maybe, maybe let's do it like this. Big cogwheel that little cogwheel like this yeah I think this is not right though because they're spinning the same way so I need to get rid of that one and get a shaft a pair of giants Okay, we need cinder flower, which is just crushed netherrack. Can we increase the speed in which this thing is spinning? Find that one little spot. We'll go to 64. Will it go higher? Good to know for the future. 128? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, shoot. That is not making cinder flower. It's crushed nether rack. Oh, why are these taking so long? They're crushed. This thing is absolutely just Oh, um
Don't plant the gearbox now. Yeah, I'll try not to. Those are some solid gearboxes, Ben. These were made in America by American engineers. <laughs> Doing down here. We have cinder flour. That's the most. We'll let that finish up making cinder flour. Okay. Whew. D point. The depot. Don't need a depot. I'm gonna do it. Like that would be good. Perfect. Yeah, you have to double crush it. So a, a second set of cogwheels underneath that first set would be if you were trying to do this on a regular basis. But we will eventually have to, to do some serious making of uh, of cinder flour and stuff. But for right now, Need a spout. Or is a copper casing? What? <laughs> mm -hmm. Copper. Yeah, this. I think it's. I think we're gonna have to uh, definitely build a couple more islands, for sure. Enough. I really want that to work, but it doesn't. These are kind of cool. Man. Small off large to do the thing. Down here too. I really just want to get these done. What kind of? I guess it doesn't need any. It will just spout whenever it's ready. It's spinning the right way and everything. All right, so let's get our cinder flour. I don't need the depot anymore, do I? Can't get a block placer to work. Rubber. A block placer. Which mod from uh, from Cyclic? I was having problems getting that one to work too. Industrial. We'll have a look at the industrial block placer uh, tomorrow. definitely do that because I'm desperately trying to finish these blaze cakes. It's probably the last thing I do for now. But I can't fine. It's 
fine. Okay, it's filled with lava. And so the last thing to do, barrel. And then two andesite funnels. And whatever block we choose is going to be andesite. And it's set on either end. Barrel, barrel, andesite funnel, andesite funnel. Now we need to make the cake bases. The cake bases. Oh, they got to be compacted. I forgot about that part. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sugar. And the cinder flour all goes into a thing and gets smashed. So let's make a press. And a basin. Basin goes here, press goes there. You know what? Let's do this right. Big boy, little boy. I think it just compressed a bunch of eggs. <laughs> Please lock that to this. Clang, clang. Oh, another amethyst? That's good. <laughs> After spending all those like, another six sugar cubes. Come on, man. to get the arms. Okay. Here we go. Big boy, little boy. That's it, right? We just need to go bang. 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 No? For real? Why doesn't that work? It's spinning backwards. Wasn't it spinning the right way last time?
Well, there you go. Oh, man. Let's clean the rest of this up real quick. Should definitely do some more create work at some point. Maybe I should build a big steam boiler and have that powering a bunch of stuff. It'd be pretty cool. What are we doing over here? That's a stack of blaze kicks. A creative blaze cake. An infinity wand, flight module for RF tools, and this thing. Which is absolutely full of power. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's a big number. Data base glaze cake. Pretty neat. All right. Here's one more thing we can do before we go. Set this thing to fluids. We would like this to be ether. Yes. Right on. So we continue working. We have finished another row. So we are two rows away from finishing this thing. But, you know, of course, these rows are longer than... Uh, we'll get this done. I've been looking at this. This right here, I, I made... I did go... And if you want to see it real quick, I haven't set up the automation for this yet. But when this thing is all said and good and running, check this out. It's pretty cool. I have 19 Terra Steel so far. Look how fast this thing makes Terra Steel. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Dig it. So I've been doing this a little bit at a time as well. Just use a little bit of mana. Might as well try to finish them now. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, my pool's emptied. We just emptied six mana pools, though. That's pretty good. So let's see. Dash. Look at this, an everlasting guilty mana pool. Creative mana pool has an infinite mana worth. So you put a, a, a recessive spark on this dude and a dominant on everything else that we have and we may never have to worry. Jesus, you are late. We're seven minutes over. I waited just for you to show up. Oh, God. Oh. 
So yeah, we are rocking and rolling through here. Um, this is a this is a concern. This is a concern, but it actually might not be because this dude is over here doing his thing. We haven't checked in a bit, but look, I've got 116 crying obsidian right now. That's great. So that's good. So I think this row will be done. Vegetable noodles, squid ink pasta, roast chicken. Uh, these I know how to make. These I already have made. This is not too bad. A creative motor from Create could be pretty decent. Let's see what else we got. Lithium, uh, lumium ingots, formation cores. We'll have to build a separate applied energistic system just for these. Arcane sands I've already started working on and a creative in, uh, mana ME cell. Not sure how that works, but we'll figure it out. Runic Hell, make a bunch of runes, infuse selves, and get a bunch of stuff from Reaper. Visit another Sky Village, Supreme Village, and five Plutonium Pellets. All of which, and then you get all these creative things too. So we are well and truly working our way, rocking and rolling. Through this thing. So... I appreciate you guys dropping by today for another day of modded Minecraft. Um, tomorrow is my birthday, but I will likely still be online. If not, I will cancel the stream thing so that it doesn't show that I will be here. And I'll pin a message to chat so that you can see it. Um, but very likely I'll be here tomorrow. I don't really have anything going. Known Stalkers may be doing something later. Yeah, you can check uh, Gizly Barraza's channel out. If you look for Gizly, this is how you spell her name. <laughs> I'll, we definitely will be playing uh, probably some Vermintide later. It's a completely different thing. So, anyway, pretty productive day all in all. We've got a bunch of stuff on the floor that this guy has just absolutely gotten rid of here another cloud in the bottle it's a pretty good day in uh, modded minecraft you actually get to hear her and Gizli, it's true and our friend uh, Healthbert oh my goodness gracious but yeah Thank y'all for coming by. Thank you for dropping by. Sorry we weren't here a little longer for you today, Jesus. Yeah, apparently you can store mana in your A system is what it says. I don't know how it works because I've never used advanced botanics, but we're going to try it. We're going to try to get it set up. We may set up an advanced uh, a botanic sy botania system just to mess with that one uh, an A system just to mess with that other thing. So, could be pretty good. Here you go. Clear a little bit of amethyst before I go. And I want to say once again, thank you all guys for dropping by. We really do appreciate you. And uh, we will see you guys very likely tomorrow. Like I said, if I'm not here. If I'm not going to be here, I will let you know ahead of time by uh, posting to the channel. Have a good evening, everybody. and We will talk to you soon.